This R-rated thrill that kicked off James Cameron's hugely successful career was released just before Halloween in 1984, eventually grossing 78 million at the box office. Produced on less than 7 million, this is a low budget production with a high concept plot. The 107 minute narrative follows an indestructible cyborg sent back in time from 2029 to assassinate a Los Angeles waitress while a human resistance fighter is also sent back to protect her. Bodybuilder turned actor Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as the title character, a menacing machine who kills indiscriminately. Complete with ridiculous 80s hair, Linda Hamilton is featured opposite as the plucky and resilient hero, forced to run for her life with an unimaginable terror always a few steps behind. Michael Bean is the gruff and resourceful protector, who doles out the majority of the picture's fascinating exposition, remarking on his robotic nemesis, It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse, or fear. And it absolutely will not stop, ever, until you are dead. Some other familiar faces show up as well. Bill Paxton even gets trashed in the first few minutes. But for the most part, this is a contained story with few players, all of whom hit their respective marks with ease. Much has been said about Schwarzenegger's acting ability over the years, but his portrayal of the Terminator is his most famous role for a reason. He is both brilliant and terrifying here. A machine of few words, only 16 lines of dialogue in fact, he sternly declares, I'll be back, mere moments before laying waste to an entire police station in a bloody murder spree. While I love gratuitous nudity that's actually integral to the plot, the unrelenting pace of this picture pauses only once, for a love scene that feels completely out of place. In his directorial debut, Cameron seamlessly mixes slow motion tension with detailed close-ups, easy to follow wide shots, and occasionally he treats us to glimpses of a hellish post-apocalyptic future. Composer Brad Fidel's heavy and synthesized score is downright haunting, an ever-present sound that symbolizes the metallic man's non-existent heartbeat. I try to share a piece of interesting trivia in each of my reviews, and this little factoid may be my all-time favorite. As fantastic as Schwarzenegger is, O.J. Simpson was actually first considered for the role, and the producers feared, rather ironically, that he was too nice for the role and wouldn't be convincing as a killer. A necessity because of its small budget and cast, this movie goes for a slasher horror vibe rather than the sci-fi action approach its sequels took, but it absolutely succeeds. The few effects that are present, accomplished using model work, dangerous stunts, and even some stop motion, may not hold up that well, but they're good enough to advance the story. As believable as a movie involving a time-traveling killer cyborg can be, this is a limited but thrilling and rewatchable picture that sets up an even more entertaining sequel. The Terminator is a real classic with an unforgettable premise. And here's what you had to say about it in the YouTube comments. Paving the way for a lucrative and entertaining franchise, it was this humble slasher that started it all. And we both agreed, it's a great film. 